All right, so in the last video, we took a vocal sample and we chopped it up so that you can play it chromatically across the keyboard. So we're starting on C3, and as I play these notes up my keyboard. Headshot, don't you worry anymore. You can hear all the different words of the sample be triggered separately. Now, we're going to move it onto one key and we're going to play it as a round robin. So this means that you could um, either by yourself or someone else who's performing it, just hit one key over and over again, and it'll cycle through all those different splices that you just made. And again, we're doing this without actually altering the audio file. So the audio file on your computer is staying the same, but Logic is doing all the, the dividing up for you. So in order to do this round robin, we got to go over here to the group tab. So we have the G next to the Z in the keyboard. So we're gonna click G to have groups. And this just shows one group right now because all those slices are just on uh, this one group where the original audio file was. Now, we're gonna click the group. In this case, I'm gonna make six new groups. So we have a total of seven because I already know we have seven words that we want triggered. Now, just for organization, I'm gonna name all these. All right, so those are all names, just to keep a little bit more organized. Now from there, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back over to the zones. We're gonna go back into the first one because that's where all the slices are right now. And we are gonna change the group assignment for each of these so they each have their own group. So again, we're gonna go over here. There it is, group assignment. And you see they're all on Hey one right now. So I want the second file to be on Hey two, third file to be on Hey three, fourth file to be on Hey four, so on and so forth. So I'm gonna change that. Now you gotta be careful because when you do that, they automatically disappear, so you gotta stay kind of organized. Five, six, and seven. And now if I go back to my group tab, when I play those, Headshot. there we go, it should switch between Don't the groups. You so you can kind of test your work anymore. and make sure that everything was assigned to the right spot. So now what we need to do is we need to put those all on the same key. So now they're in separate groups, we can assign them to the same key. So we're gonna go over here, and zone, zone, we're gonna change the key range. So I'm gonna go to the second one, the Hey 2, that's on C sharp right now. I'm gonna move that to C3. And I'm gonna have all these on C3. So obviously it takes a minute. Now again, in the previous video, we made sure to turn off pitch on all the different samples because otherwise when you change around these keys, it's gonna change the pitch and we don't want that. So I'll leave pitch off and I'll leave one shot on over here. So now if I cycle through each one of these, I should see C3 as the key range. Now, the, the pitch key is staying at C3 over here, if you see, or C sharp or D3. You can mess with that if you want, but I just leave it how it is um, based on how it originally assigned everything. Now, from there, we have to set up our round robin. So, right now, they're all in one key. So, if I play them all at the same time, we get that terrifying sound of all of them triggering at the same time. So, I'm going to go over here to the group tab. So, obviously, the one with the G again. And now, I want to find round robin. And perfect, it's not up here. So what I need to do is I need to right click and then we see all these selections. You want round robin checked and there it is. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of them, turn round robin on. And I think we got lucky this time, it automatically sorted them in the correct order. So if for some reason that's out of order, you can go here and you can actually select uh, which one it is. So the number, we have A2 and obviously it lines up with A2, that's perfect. A3 lines up with A3. So now what's gonna happen, I'm gonna go back to just my C key on my keyboard. Headshot, don't you worry anymore. And every single one of those samples was triggered back to back just by hitting one note over and over again. Now, there's a situation, maybe if you're running this in main stage, at this time, um, this sampler isn't available in main stage, but hopefully eventually it is. So say you're working in main stage and you need that round robin to reset, like say you're in the middle of it. Headshot and you messed up, you need to go back for some reason. The only way I know how to do this right now is to actually change the sampler. So what we need to do is we need to save this real quick. Let's just call it Hey. 
And now that's saved. If I'm in the middle of the round robin, if I switch out to a different sampler and then go back to this sampler, it goes back to the beginning instead of saying in the same place in the round robin. So if you're working on main stage, you just need to set up a button that'll reset that. And uh, there's some videos out there that show you how to do that. So change the sampler and go back. So again, that was how you take all those different slices of one audio file and put them onto a single key using round robins in the new 10.5 samplers. Thanks for watching.